Art is often looked at as a conduit for change, and one New York City-based organization is bringing the community together to do just that. So today we're in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, and I am so excited because we're gonna go paint. All right, Gabby, so I walked through here. It is really cool. There are a lot of community members here, but what's going on today? So we are at MS 136 with Groundsville Mural Arts. We're painting a mural with a bunch of students, part of our program cohort. We're part of Groundsville Mural Arts, which is an organization that has served communities all across the city. We fabricated over 600 murals in 26 years of operating, and we're a social justice mural organization, as well as a youth empowerment organization. What is a social justice mural organization? What does that mean? So it means that we really take it in account the demographics that we're representing in each mural. So there's an ideation period for each mural fabrication process where we go out into the community, talk to people, where are you from? How long have you been in Sunset Park, which is where we are right now? And we ask people what they would want to see in a mural, and then all of these voices get to be represented in these collectively generated murals. It's really fabulous. That's amazing. And now, you know, I see a lot of young people around. So tell me about the youth empowerment portion of this. So the youth empowerment portion is just as important as our mural legacy. We recruit students from all across the city who want to be in the arts. We get kids who have no experience in the arts whatsoever, who just want to learn and dabble. And then by the end of the program session, they're like, oh my God, like this is what I want to do in my life. Well, I have to tell you, growing up, anytime I saw a mural as a Korean American that had any depiction of my culture on it, it really just made me feel good. So I, I just think it's an amazing thing that you guys are doing. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful to see community members that have been in the neighborhood forever speak to the importance of beautification of neighborhoods, seeing the value behind clear, staunch representation of their people, their communities, depictions of language. It's gorgeous. And people know us, and they love us, and they want to bring their kids to work with us. Yeah. They're always like, oh, I have a nephew who would love to paint with you guys. And I'm like, <laughs> bring him over to me. I recruit the students. Call me. So tell me about this specific piece of art that's going up today. So right now we're working on a mural that really pays homage to Sunset Park. So there are a lot of elements of the sun playing with that language, Sunset Park. We're trying to implement uh, text of Arabic, text of Spanish, text of Mandarin, making sure we're directly representing demographics. Yeah. Because this school right here, MS-136, we have a ton of Chinese kids, we have a ton of Central American students, a ton of uh, Arab students, and we want to make sure that their families feel directly represented when they come here to pick up their students, come to the talent shows, whatever it may be. These kids are here, they represent the school, they need yeah. to be represented directly, thoroughly through these visuals in a collective sense. 